All right, mate, how you doing? Welcome back to another episode of the Spencer FC Game Academy, episode seven today. We have got our two finalists, Kieran and Harry. Today, we're gonna to find out a little bit more about them, put them on the spot, maybe make them a bit uncomfortable, but also give them a little bit of a reward, a taste of life as a professional sportsman. Let's go chat to them. Okay, Kieran, Harry, congratulations. You've made it to the final two of the Spencer FC Game Academy. You've done really well. Today, we're gonna to be doing a few different things. Later on, I'm gonna lay on a little bit of a treat for you so you can have a glimpse at the sort of thing you might get to do quite regularly if you do win and get signed to my eSports team. But first of all, you gotta remember guys, this is a recruitment process for me. I'm gonna be taking one of you on and letting you join my team. So I need to know exactly who I'm getting into business with. I need to find out more about you. So I'm gonna get two of my closest colleagues to interview you, to grill you a little bit, and uh, just get to know you a little bit better. Then they're gonna talk to me, give me some feedback, so I can make the best decision I can. So go prepare for that, and good luck. So conducting the interviews today are two people whose opinion I trust very much. I'm sure you've seen them on the channel before. It's my girlfriend, Alex, and my brother, Seb. They're gonna be putting these guys through their paces, seeing what they can find out. Let's go. Kieran, it's great to meet you. Nice to meet you. How are you feeling about getting so far in the competition? I didn't expect to get this far, but now I'm here, I'm, uh, I've come to win. Now, Harry, let's take this opportunity to get to know you better. Tell me a little about your background. Do you work? Are you a student? I'm a student at the University of Liverpool. I study maths. Um, I came across Spencer through Gfinity and stuff. I'd, I'd known of him before, obviously, and then I thought I'd take a chance at the great opportunity he was offering. Here I am. How dedicated are you to spending the time that's needed to become a professional FIFA player? Well, once I've got these ill hours out of the way, I'm not off to uni this year, so if, uh, if anything happens, I've, you know, I've got a full year to focus on it. What is Spencer's first ever YouTube video? The oldest ones that I've seen are the, the FTSE 100 ones that he did. Oldest doesn't always mean first, so if you can answer the question. First one? Uh, the first video. I don't know what the first There's one, one answer to this question. It was the takeover video introducing him, obviously, being the main. Wow, you, you're channel. pretty impressive, mate. You've done your research. Yeah. Fair play to you. Do you think you've got what it takes in the world of esports? I think I've definitely got potential in the world of esports. I've beat a lot of the best players in the world recently online and stuff. So, yeah, I'd, I'd definitely say I've got what it takes. I need to know one thing. Have you ever told a lie? Yes. You have told a lie? Quite a few. Are you lying to me right now? No. Why do you think you're the right person to win this process? I've uh, always been very competitive, you know, I used to play football, proper football, but then it sort of transitioned into uh, virtual eSport football, so, uh, you know, I'm, I'm, when I play stuff, I, I play to win. <laughs> How often would you say you rage quit in FIFA? I've never done, I've never rage quit. So you're aware that we're good friends with Xbox, so I can go back and check your record and you've never rage quit? Go for it. Ever? Mm. Really? Never. You've never rage quit? Never. Now you just told me you've lied before, yeah. so you could be lying now. Depends if you believe I'm lying or not. What do you think is my best feature? You know, your beard. Beard's quite good. My beard? Yeah. Can you grow a beard? Yeah, uh, I'm trying. Keep me updated with the progress, because uh, right now well, uh, there's a bit more work. Mate. I'll tweet you. Who is the best YouTuber? Bear in mind where we are right now. Spencer. Do you see FIFA as a part of your life uh, in terms of your career? Potentially, you know, just, just got to see, see what happens, see uh, Obviously in the final, what, what, if I beat Harry, if, if I do beat Harry, then uh, yeah, I think it's time to take it seriously. How much wood would a woodchuck chuck if a woodchucker could chuck wood? <sighs> you stumped me. Say ship. Ship. Say shop. Shop. What do you do at a green light? You stop. Do you? you no, you don't stop. You don't stop I, do you? I, 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 what do you do at a green light? Stop. I can't believe I've done that. What do cows drink? I don't know. You don't know? No. The cows, the, the cows drink? You're not interested in their well-being? <laughs> not really. A lot of people were saying that Harry's the favourite here, but you actually beat Gorilla. Exactly. But Harry didn't, so, you know, do you think that now makes you the favourite? I, I like being the underdog, so, you know, we'll see what happens in the final. Would you say you're confident in winning this process? I'm definitely confident in winning it. I think I'll win it, so, yeah. OK, because you're kind of talking like you might win it, you might not, if you don't then you might go off and do something else. Well, I'll start by winning it. I think I've shown that I've put the dedication up to now, and then if I win it, I'll show that I can put even further dedication and take it forward. I understand you've got an A star in maths, and you yeah. study maths at university. So what's 76 times 123? I <laughs> have no idea. If you had a time machine, and you could go back in time, would you still get the same haircut? Oh, definitely. 
Would you rather have lettuce instead of hair, or hair instead of lettuce? What do you mean? Why, why would I have to eat the lettuce? I'd rather have hair instead of lettuce. Do you want hair in your salad? Well, I don't have salad. Final question for you. Can you please give me your best Spencer impression? For God's sake, right. Don't go changing. I'll see you when you're older, don't go changing. Brilliant, there we go. Okay, Alex, Seb, thank you for taking the time to interview the remaining contestants for me. Uh, what are your first impressions, Alex? What do you think of uh, Kieran and Harry? Well, I think they both did incredibly well. They're very difficult questions to answer and to be put on the spot like that. You could see the nerves kind of coming through with them. I think Harry was slightly more confident in answering mm. them. You could see the potential for their FIFA career. But I think Kieran has more drive and more ambition. Right. It makes sense that maybe, you know, Harry would be a bit more confident. He's got a couple of years on Kieran. He has. A yeah. uh, bit more time to figure out what he wants to do with his life. What did you think from your interview, Seb? Yeah, it's an important point in that because, you know, we've got to look at it. Are we looking for someone who's ready-made to go straight in and represent the team straight away? Uh, or are we looking for someone that maybe has got more time to grow? Kieran mm. has got a number of years on him. He has got time to catch up. So, the important factors, Harry's got that experience in the Play Like a Legend events. Well, exactly, yeah. Harry had the benefit of doing that before. So, if he plays in another one, he'll know what to expect. But Kieran also hasn't had the chance to do that yet. And maybe he would do better than Harry did. We don't know. But it's still really useful to get your insight on it. Thank you very much for taking the time. Alex, Seb, thanks very much. Okay, so the interviews are done. I've learned a little bit more about the guys. Definitely some food for thought. In the meantime, I want to give these guys a bit of a reward because they've been through quite a long process of the Spencer FC Game Academy, so we're going to get on the road and visit a Premier League club. Right lads, welcome to Finch Farm. This is the training ground of Everton FC. Today I want to give you a taste of what life could be like if you were to win the process and sign for my eSports team. So today we're going to be playing some football and we're going to be taking each other on at FIFA, which we haven't done since the first episode. So I want to see if you guys have improved. Harry, are you looking forward to this because you're an Everton fan, right? Yeah, I've never been to the training ground before, so I'm excited to be here and can't wait to get out there. Kieran, how are your football skills? Because we're going to be playing some football outside. What, what should I expect? I used to play football quite a bit, so hopefully today, you know, They'll, they'll be all right. First things first, let's give you some kit. Harry, that's for you. Yes. Kieran, that's for you, mate. So get kitted up. I'll meet you on the football pitch. OK, now it's time for our football challenge. It's an old school penalty shootout between me, Harry and Kieran. We've got an Everton Academy goalkeeping coach in goal. His name's Andy Cowley. I hear he's an absolute cat. Let's go find out. OK, time for the penalty shootout. Spencer's up first. He hits it and it's in the top right-hand corner. That's cheeky. Uncle Spenny scores his first one. Next up is Kieran. Oh, and Big Andy has let us down on this one. I was made assurances about his goalkeeping ability. But we saved that one, though, from Harry. OK, and Spencer's up second. He misses. Spencer has missed his second penalty. No one saw that coming. Kieran up next. Can he score it? Oh, that's a beautiful penalty. That's two out of two for Kieran, who goes in the lead. Harry misses his second penalty in a row. Not looking good for Harry. Spencer goes to the top corner. It comes off the bar. No, no, no. Kieran scores it. He's got full marks. Three out of three. He's on fire. Harry's up next. Is he going to score? It's another massive save from Big Andy in goal. Love that. Strong hands. Speaking of strong hands, he's saved another penalty from Spencer. That's not good. Kieran scores again. He can't stop scoring. Can Harry get his first goal? Here he comes. Bang. Oh, almost missed it. But uh, Big Andy couldn't keep it out. It is a goal for Harry. Now, Spencer's final penalty. Oh, and he sends Andy the wrong way. He scores it. And what about Kieran? Can he make it 100%? He does. Five out of five. He's won this shootout. Harry takes his last one and scores it. Okay, so... He got a little bit of a pride back there, but Kieran is the champ. Decent penos from Kieran. So guys, do you enjoy that little bit of football out there? Yeah, yeah. Now, next time we're going to see you guys is a big final. Okay, play like a legend final. You guys are going to be playing against each other for the series. The winner of that match will get themselves the eSports contract. So it's a big one. So with that in mind, and considering the fact that we're at Everton's training ground, I pulled in a favour or two and I've got a very special person to come talk to you, give you some advice ahead of that big game. So please welcome the Everton manager, Mr. Roberto Martinez. How you doing? Spencer, how are we doing? Harry, good to see you. Yeah. Kieran. So, Roberto, thanks for joining us. Pleasure. Uh, I was wondering if you could give our guys some advice today. They've got a big final coming up, one game of FIFA. Whoever wins it is going to win this series. Uh, give you a bit of background on them both. Uh, Harry's probably the favourite. Right. I think you agree with me on that. He's had the most consistent performances throughout the series. So my first question for that would be, 
what advice would you give him on how he should approach the final? Probably have a little bit more pressure on him than Kieran. How could he cope with that? Well, I think, first and foremost, congratulations. I think you, you've done remarkably well to be in this position. And now it's more, more than anything, try to find the enjoyment within what you have achieved. I think if you are in this situation, it's because you're very good in what you do. Now, what you can allow to happen now is to lose that just because you feel a little bit under pressure with the meaning of winning that final or what could, that could represent. It's almost getting into the zone and be relaxed and trying to control the moment. Sometimes, as footballing people, we get carried away when the big occasion and you got people expecting a lot and you end up the game feeling, well, I wasn't myself. That's the last thing you can afford, going into the game and, and not be really yourself. I think you've done terrific and you should be uh, you shouldn't be feeling any pressure at all. I think getting into this position now, you've achieved something. Now, whatever comes is down to your, to your talent, so be relaxed towards it. With Kieran, on the other hand, he's obviously done very well as well to get here, but he's probably the underdog for the final, based on the fact that he hasn't quite reached the heights that Harry's reached throughout the process. However, one thing Kieran does have in his locker, is was in one episode where uh, they all played probably the best player in the world, and Kieran was actually the only person to beat him. So he's a bit of an underdog, but he's got a bit of history there as well. You, you've had cup success as an underdog in, in a final before. Uh, how do you think he should approach it? Well, Kieran, I think the underdog role is, is, is probably the most enjoyable one. As long as you don't lose the understanding that you, you can beat anyone on the day, as long as you are as good as you, as you can be. I think the story that you have is terrific. You're beating the best player in the world in, 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 in FIFA. That tells you that you should be confident enough, but uh, nothing to, to change in the way that you achieve that. So I think it's a terrific, uh, as an underdog, normally you haven't got that experience of winning. It, you're an underdog because people feel that you could achieve something. In your case, you're not an underdog in your, in your mind because you're already beaten the best player in the world. So just try to get yourself very much relaxed towards the moment that you achieve that, trying to reproduce it again. But a terrific, terrific, uh, remarkable journey, the one that you had, make sure that you are yourself when you play in the next game. Roberto, thank you so much for that. I think it's really useful. Uh, great to have you come down and talk to the lads. Pleasure, Spencer. Thanks. Harry, as a big Evertonian, good luck. Kieran, enjoy your final. OK, we've just spoken to Roberto Martinez. Now we're going to play some FIFA, me against Harry and me against Kieran, to see how they've improved from the first episode. Let's go. 4-2 you won last time. Doing Juventus versus Spain. We've randomised it, both five-star teams. You ready? Best of luck to you. You too. You should be beating me more than 4-2 because this Game Academy process should have made you a better player. That's the whole point of it. So when the goal's coming, Harry. Put it in. Ah! No! That's... Oh, come on now. The keeper was going to save that. It deflected off my defender. Oh, wait. Ball rolling past me like nobody's business. Oh, God. That's decent, to be fair. I think I taught you that. right off in front of my fouls. Yeah, I mean, fair play, you've got better. And I have to take credit for that. You do? I have to take credit for that, design the academy process to get you better, you know. I've not been playing during this process, Harry, I've been watching you. I think you told me that one as well. I did teach you that one, it's B. Come on. This is dangerous, why would you do that? Oh, no, no, no! That's just, you shouldn't have, if you were a real gentleman, you wouldn't have scored that, Harry. <laughs> That was a gentleman test, part of the academy process. Do you feel like you've got better in the process? Yeah, easily. Do you think playing the pro events helped you? Um, oh, this is embarrassing for everyone involved now. I think we were just playing more, really. Yes, Kadrada, that's what I like to see. Slip it inside. Hang on. Oh. Bang it! Oh, that was my moment. I've had a chance for this one. Oh, it's all over. Fair play, you scored the same amount of goals as you did last time, so I was consistent in that respect. Must be my defence what's improved. Yeah, I didn't score two this time. Well done, you, you, you've got better, mate, you've got better. Was it nil-nil we played last yeah, time? Yeah, nil-nil. Nil-nil, okay. So you didn't actually beat me in the first episode, so if you've improved in this process, you should be beating me today. Hopefully. Do you think you will? I just want to try and get a goal today, that's the plan. Try and get a goal. You're Dortmund, I'm Portugal, it's been randomised. Let's play ball. Go. Go on, Ronaldo, you've got this. Goal time. Ah, uh, you mugged me off with the goalkeeper. You got in my head. You got in my head. Oh, come on! 
<laughs> like you've scored against me for the first time, congratulations Kieran. There's only like six people in the world that can say that. <laughs> Cristiano, Ronaldo is your name. Scoring is your game. Cristiano! Oh, he's caught it. Uh, who do you no. think you are, Sebastian? <laughs> no, it's not a penalty though. Don't you dare give a penalty for that. Oh, I might have time to get anyone on the line. No! <laughs> My guy was running across as well. How did you squeeze that in? I don't have a clue, I was off him. Come on, Nanny. Come on, Nanny. Finish it! Oh, you're kidding me now. Play inside, Nanny. Oh. <laughs> oh, I can't believe it. I just want a goal. Finish it for me. Cristiano, that's what I'm talking about. This game's not over, Kieran. This game's not over, son. Ref, come on! Send him! That's outrageous, mate. It's moments like this, you need your boys to just show them what you've got. I think that's going to hit the wall, though. Oh! Oh! Uh, it's all over. You did me, that free kick, him. mate. Well done. Well, well done. Uh, it's good to see some improvement. I do feel like I could have got some goals there. I mean, I actually had more shots than you. Fair and more possession. You did, but Subotic. My yeah, Subotic was the difference. Fair play. Right guys, that's it for our time here at the Everton training ground. It's been a lot of fun. Next time you see the Spencer FC Game Academy, it will be the final. We'll be finding out who wins the whole thing uh, at the Play Like a Legend Grand Final this weekend on the 7th and 8th of May from noon. You can watch the whole thing. On Saturday, you can go to twitch.tv forward slash Gfinity TV. And on Sunday, you can watch the full HD experience on the Xbox Live event player for all the knockout rounds. And you can also pick up yourself some awesome Umbro and Xbox prizes. So hopefully, we'll see you there. We're going to be finding out who wins the whole thing. It's going to be a lot of fun. Drop a like on the video if you've enjoyed it. Subscribe for more. Let me know in the comments below who you think will win. And until the final, I'll see you when you're older. Don't go change it. <laughs>